everyone welcome back to my channel my name is katie and today i will be sharing with you what kinds of files you can upload on canva as well as the file upload requirements so are you ready let's get started all right so you can upload photos you can also upload videos if you are not aware of that yet you can now upload videos and that's a very exciting news if you have not seen that on your canva account yet just go ahead and log out and just log back in and you will be able to see that on the sidebar if you are using your desktop of course now if you are based in china i'm sorry to tell you that it's not available yet in your area but pretty soon i probably think it will be available so aside from the photo and video you are also allowed to upload svg files so svg files are scalable vector graphics so if you are just starting with graphic design you may not have encountered that yet but i'm gonna discuss a little bit about it later so that you would understand what kind of files you can upload and what are the requirements so now for the photo files you can actually upload png files jpeg files or svg files so the extensions for that would be like let's say abc.png or abc.jpg or abc.svg so remember those three those are the only three photo files or photo modes that you can actually upload on canva aside from those you have to keep in mind that you can only upload less than 25 megabytes of files so let's go ahead and try from unsplash All right, so I'm going to click on download free right here. So if you are not aware yet, Unsplash is actually a source for stock photos that allows you to use it for personal or commercial use. So there you go. It has been uploaded already. What I'm going to do is to go back to Canva and I'm going to use one of the templates. All right, so what we are going to do is to replace this with the photo that we will upload. So crossing fingers that it's going to upload and that it's less than 25 megabytes <laughs> all right so let me go to my downloads folder all right so if it's going to upload that means it's less than 25 megabytes if your photo is more than 25 megabytes you will not be able to upload it there would be an error that you will encounter and so don't fuss about it what you can do um, is to resize the photo that you have and make it um, into a web ready format so you can either use um, your Photoshop or you can use a website like a um, file resizer or something I'm not sure exactly um, what we can use but while waiting for it to upload we can probably just Google it file resize Okay, there you go. It's a file resizer. So you can use resizeimage.net. So you can crop, you can resize, and you can compress images. So again, that's resizeimage.net. All right, let's see if it has already uploaded. So there you go. It has uploaded, and well and good, it's less than 25 megabytes. So then you can also upload a photo that has um, exceeded 100 million pixels. I'm not sure if you need that actually, but yes, you cannot upload it on Canva. And you make sure that your file mode is actually RGB. So it, you cannot upload CMYK. So CMYK is a print ready format. So let me just summarize what you can upload for photos. You can upload SVG files, you can upload JPEG files, you can upload PNG files, you can upload photos that is less than 25 megabytes, and you cannot upload a photo that is more than 100 million pixels. Plus, of course, you can only upload RGB photos. Okay, so let's get to the video file requirements. So now that I've mentioned to you in the past videos that videos is already available. So maybe some of you have checked that out already and some of you have actually tried it. So it's just above background 
and below text. So click on that. We will click on that. And you will see here that there are samples of videos that you can use. These are stock videos. But of course, if you don't see anything here that you like, you can always upload your own video. So what are the file requirements for you to be able to upload your videos? So the file formats, you should upload a .mov, .gif, or a .mp4 file. Only those three. So again, .mov, .gif, or .mp4, and the file should be less than 100 megabytes. So if your file is more than 100 megs, then you cannot upload that on Canva anymore. All right, um, talking about video files, these files would give you an error if you try to upload them. Apple Intermediate Files, ProRes 4444 files, but ProRes 422 files is actually supported, so you can upload those files. Um, HDV 720p60, you cannot upload that as well. And as well as GoToMeeting 3 and GoToMeeting 4, you cannot upload that on Canva. So uh, I hope that's clear. I'll be explaining to you more about that in more of our videos in the future. But right now, let's go get straight to SVG file requirements. Okay. For SVG file requirements, you can actually upload and make sure that all strokes, path, text boxes should be expanded. So, and all group shapes with the same color together. And the ideal dimension should be at least 150 to 200 pixels wide. So anything lower than that, you cannot upload as an SVG file. And you must save the file with an SVG profile of SVG 1.1. So remember that. And if you use Illustrator, make sure to change the CSS properties to presentation attributes before saving. So if you want to read more about this, the keyword to search on support.canva.com would be file upload requirements. So especially if you are curious about SVG files, I actually don't use those files on Canva pretty much so if you want to read more about it you can just search for it um, in the support website of canva so talking about uploading files and all that for mobile canva allows you to upload photos and videos as well on your mobile but you have to allow canva to have access to your device photos so um, if you're having difficulties accessing your camera roll from the app, check the access settings from your device settings. So make sure that you allow Canva so that you can actually upload photos and videos. And um, it's also possible to upload from your Facebook or your Instagram. What you can do is to actually just click on here on the sidebar. Again, on the left panel, you can see more. And then here, it will show you Facebook and Instagram. So you can um, access photos from there and just connect and authorize Canva to access your Facebook account. So how do you do that? You have to open or create a new design first, of course, before you can see this. Click on the More tab in your Object Panel. So this is what you call the Object Panel. Select your Facebook Photos app or your Instagram app and authorize Canva to have access to your accounts so that you can access the photos that you want to use. Um, if you're having difficulty, if you're encountering some errors and all that stuff, what you need to do is just to remove Canva's access and then repeat the process. Allow Canva again to have access to your Facebook or to your Instagram account. All right, so that's it. That's th Those are some ways for you to be able to upload some photos, videos, and SVG files to your Canva account and also the file upload requirements. If you are curious, again, you can search for file upload requirements on the support.canva.com website. So I'll be back with more tutorials. Um, I'll, I'm planning to actually record something about videos because this is new for some of you and maybe 
maybe not all of you knows about it yet but i've been playing around with it been really acquainted with that tool and i'm really loving it and actually i've created some um posts social media posts using um canva videos and i really love it and i'm sure if you're a member of canva creatives philippines you have seen me post some videos that were actually created using canva videos so that's pretty exciting all right so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or if you have any requests you may leave a comment as well and i'll try to accommodate your request thank you again for supporting my channel and if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video is up so again my name is katie thank you for watching and you have a great day or night wherever you are bye mm -hmm.